Honorable Speaker, I, wish to, I beg to move the procedural motion to, for a resolution to hold a morning sitting and an extended afternoon sitting on Tuesday, October 8, 2024. Honorable Speaker, pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 33, this House resolves, one, to hold a morning sitting on Tuesday, 8 October 2024, commencing at 9 a.m., for purposes of commencement of debate on a special motion on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency the Honorable Rigathi Gachagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, and two, to sit until conclusion of the consideration of the special motion on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Hon. Rigathi Gachagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, during the afternoon sitting of Tuesday, 8th October, 2024. Honorable Speaker, as I agreed yesterday, and uh, through the communication of the Speaker yesterday, and general agreement of the House, that we propose that on Tuesday we have a morning sitting and an afternoon sitting, but the afternoon sitting will only end when the order of the business for the day is concluded. Honorable Speaker, we have a special and important uh, motion that we must be dispense of, and therefore we must give it due consideration and time, enough time for debate, so that every member in this chamber has an opportunity to debate, has an opportunity to be heard, and every dissenting voice can be heard in this chamber, because this is a democratic chamber and every voice is welcome. And therefore, it is important that we add one more sitting and also extend the afternoon sitting so that we have ample time to debate this important motion of um, um, uh, national importance. Honorable Speaker, I, I am happy to invite the Honorable Wamboka. I, I, I wish to move, Honorable Speaker, and therefore request the Honorable Wamboka, the a small lion from the other side to second uh, uh, the motion. Thank you. A lion is a lion even when it's small. <laughs> it, indeed, uh, it's a very important motion, but I'm not a small lion as such. Uh, Madam Speaker, we are talking about a very important uh, motion that affects this country, and uh, we need a very humble time to give every, everybody an opportunity to say what they have to say so that we put Kenya back to the right track. And I second and support fully. Thank you, honorable members. I now propose the question that pass you on to the provision of Standing Order 33. This House resolves one, to hold a morning sitting on Tuesday, 8th October 2024, commencing at 9 a.m. For the purposes of commencement of debate on a special motion on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And two, to sit until conclusion of the consideration of the special motion on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya during the afternoon sitting of the Tuesday, the 8th October 2024. <laughs> okay, Honorable Members, I now put the question that pass you on to the provisions of Standing Order 33, this House resolves to one, to hold a morning sitting on Tuesday, 8th October 2024, commencing at 9 a.m. for the purposes of commencement of debate on the special motion on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And two, to sit until conclusion of the consideration of the special motion on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, during the afternoon sitting of Tuesday, October 2024. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye? Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Order number nine, procedural motion, suspension of a specified sitting. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I beg to move that pursuant to the provision of Standing Order 28-4,
calendar of the assembly, this house resolves to suspend its sitting of Thursday, 3rd October 2024, so as to allow administrative arrangements necessary to facilitate the program for public participation on the special motion for the removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigathi Gashagua, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable Speaker, just as my deputy has said, this motion is due for debate next week on Tuesday and was communicated by the Speaker yesterday afternoon or last evening. We are required to conduct public participation. Honorable Speaker, it's important to mention to members that the public participation we intend to uh, do is public participation that is very granular, right from the polling station all the way to the county. And if members have seen, already the advertisement has been put in uh, the dailies and it's there on the website and members of the public can therefore access the venues where people will uh, assemble in a very granular manner right from the polling station to the award level, to the constituency level. So members of Palempo you need also to retreat to their constituencies and be able to uh, inform their people accordingly. So that we make sure that everybody in every polling station is aware of the motion, the grounds of the motion, and they can give their say at the county headquarters. And I'm sure members of parliament, having been seasoned people in these matters of public participation, will enable their constituents right from the polling station to be able to give their views. There is also a memoranda that's already on the website. And again, you should be able to speak to your constituents uh, and uh, to be able to fill up that uh, memoranda and send it to the um, addresses that have been indicated. Without Honorable Speaker, it's therefore necessary that we retreat tomorrow and we don't have a sitting tomorrow uh, afternoon as the norm is as per our calendar. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move and I want to request the Honorable Mala uh, Farah, <laughs> Farah Malim. <laughs> I was going to say Mala Farim. <laughs> Farah Malim uh, um, uh, to second. Mark is not working. Which one? This one. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I can see the majority leader has moved a very, very important and a constitutional provision uh, for us also to have the public participation. Public participation is provided for in our constitution. That is important because it's a first of its kind. Under the Constitution 210 of the Republic of Kenya, which is one of the most progressive constitutions in the world, not in Africa, not in the third world countries, but including the developed world also. Mr. Speaker, I second that, and I am hoping we will all go out back to our own constituents. We will inform them, we will sit down with them, we will listen to them, and public participation is going to be carried out as the Constitution has provided. Thank you. I second, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Madam Speaker, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Honorable members, I now propose the question that pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 28-4, which is calendar of the Assembly, this House resolved to suspend its sitting of Thursday, 3rd October 2024, so as to allow administrative arrangements necessary to facilitate the program of public participation on the special motion for the removal of, from office by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigardi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. The mood of the house that we should put the question? Okay. Okay. Honorable members, I now put the question that pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 28 4, calendar of the assembly, this house resolved to suspend its sittings of Thursday, 3rd October 2024, so as to allow administrative arrangements necessary to facilitate the program for public participation on the special motion for the removal from office of by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigardi Gashagwa. Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye? Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Order number 10, procedural motion, limitation of debate on special motion under Articles 145 and 150 of the Constitution.
Majority Leader. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, pursuant to the provision of uh, Standing Order Number 97-1, and notwithstanding the resolution of the House on February 14th, 2024, this House orders that each speech in a debate on a special motion under Article 145 and Article 150 of the Constitution shall be limited as follows. A maximum of 60 minutes for the mover in moving the, uh, the motion and 30 minutes in replying and a maximum of five minutes for any other member uh, speaking, except, of course, the majority leader and the leader of minority and the member seconding the motion who shall be limited to a maximum of 10 minutes each. And that at least two and a half hours before a vote is taken on the motion, the deputy president or the president, as the case may be, of course in this case is the deputy president, shall be accorded an opportunity to be heard in accordance with the standing order number 67B2 uh, as a right to be heard. Honorable Speaker, um, going by the notice of motion that was uh, tabled here yesterday by the move of this motion, this motion received overwhelming support of 291 signatures. That ideally means, Honorable Speaker, that members should be given adequate time to debate on this motion. Usually, of course, the House knows that we debate, each member gets about 10 minutes to speak on any motion. But because of the, of the interest, the overwhelming interest across the political side, and for, for, I mean, uh, with the 291 that support, and even the 53 or 54 who do not support, Honorable Speaker, uh, the minority, they'll get that opportunity to articulate their issues on why, whether they support those who do not support, they'll also have their five minutes to support, you know, they arrange their thoughts within the five minutes, you articulate your issues with the within the five minutes, and also we give the mover 60 minutes so that they can, he can actually place his uh, grounds on the table without a hurry. 60 minutes, Honorable Speaker. And with 30 minutes right of reply. Honorable Speaker, I, for us, this is clearly f fair. And even to add on top, Honorable Speaker, we wish to move that the Deputy President is accorded an opportunity to be in this house and be heard. The proposal is two hours of defense in this floor, Honorable Speaker, without being interrupted, Honorable Speaker. So I beg to move, Honorable Speaker, that uh, members arrange their thoughts within the allocated timeline and come in large numbers that very day, very early in the morning, to articulate their issues in support or in opposition, in, uh, while opposing the motion, Honorable Speaker. So I beg to move, and I ask Honorable Sam Atandi to second. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, as has been explained by the majority uh, whip, this is a historical motion. And for some of us, we are lucky that we are going to witness and participate in the impeachment of the Deputy President. This is something which is very special, Madam Speaker. And I'm sure that, just like me, myself, all members of this House will be interested in giving a shot to this motion. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, we would like to request that uh, everybody be given an opportunity. And so the motion that, uh, the proposal that we have five minutes for members and uh, 60 minutes for the mover is something which I would like to second and I would like to appeal to members to support. Thank you. I support. I second. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, honorable members, I now propose the question that pass you on to the provisions of Standing Order 97-1, and notwithstanding the resolution of the House of, of February 14, 2024, this House orders that each speech in a debate on a special motion under Articles 145 and 150 of the Constitution shall be limited as follows. A maximum of 60 minutes for the mover in moving and 30 minutes in replying, and a maximum of five minutes each for any other member speaking, except for the leader of majority, the leader of minority party, 
and the member seconding the motion, who shall be limited to a maximum of 10 minutes each, and that at least two and a half hours before a vote is taken on the motion, the deputy president, or president as the case may be, shall be accorded an opportunity to be heard in accordance with Standing Order 67B2, that is the right to be heard. Honorable members, may I propose the question? Let me put the question. Put the question. Okay, honorable members, I now put the question. What's your point of order? Thank you, thank you, Madam Speaker. Then immediately after. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I, I just wanted some little bit of clarification. Because I've, I've tried to do the, comp uh, while I agree with the motion, Madam Speaker, I've tried to do the computation of the period. And uh, I'm a bit, uh, that's why I'm seeking your clarification, that the, the mover will have one hour, the second will have 30 minutes, the leader of majority and minority will have 10 minutes each, so, uh, the second will have 30 Ten. ten minutes. The yes, second will have ten minutes. So, uh, are, are we saying, therefore, Madam Speaker, that uh, is it is it two and a half hours maximum, including the time that the mover is moving plus the leader of majority and the seconder, and that each one of us gets five? We have a lot to say about this motion, Madam Speaker, uh, and 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 I I, I I am I am a bit disturbed that um, I have uh, uh, we have a lot to say about this motion. And I think five minutes and, and, and allotting uh, the mover one hour, I, I think we, we can give the mover 40 minutes so that we get time to, to say. And, 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 and uh, we have a lot to say about this motion. Yeah, Honorable Kamket, remember the, it will go on until the end of the day, which means it go up to midnight. The, 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 in that case, Madam Speaker, I, I propose that five minutes is too short for us. We have a lot to say. We have a lot, and I, I can assure you. <laughs> I think, Honorable Kamket, you have, been, you have been overruled by your colleagues. But in any case, the practice in the House is that we've been doing five minutes. And in my experience, most people can make their point in three minutes. After that, they start repeating themselves. What's your point of Please put the question, Madam Speaker. Put to the question. Okay, honorable members. Okay, I'll only entertain two point of orders. Mm -hmm. You are coming next, yeah. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. And uh, I tend to agree with uh, Honorable Kamket. We need more time to interrogate this issue. The issue of the impeachment of the deputy president is not a clandestine issue. It's an issue that we need to interrogate. Some of the members who voted for the impeachment may have had the privilege to have had the motion before. The ones who had, the ones who had put the signature, obviously they, they, they signed on the motion having maybe some insight into what was in the motion. So us who are, not, who are, who are in the dark, we ask for more time to interrogate and discuss this issue entirely. Thank you. Honorable Farah, and then we shall, I shall put the question. Mr. Speaker, for the benefit of the House. Oh, oh, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, protect me from all of, from all of them. For the benefit for the of the House. Honorable members, let us listen to Honorable Farah. For the benefit of the House, there was a procedural motion that preceded this procedural motion that said until the conclusion, which means we can go up to midnight. But then having 291 members of parliament, anything more than five minutes is not likely to give an opportunity to everybody. In any case, in any case, those of you who studied literature, whatever you cannot convey in five minutes, you'll not be able to convey in five hours. So, Mr. Madam Speaker, put the question, put the question. Like I said, honorable members, my experience is that within, you can say whatever you want to say in three minutes. Beyond three minutes, you're repeating yourself. So, let, so honorable members, allow me to put the question that pass you on to the provisions of Standing Order 97-1, and notwithstanding the resolution of the House of February 14, 2024, this House orders that each speech in a debate on a special motion under Articles 145 and 150 of the Constitution 
shall be limited as follows. A maximum of 60 minutes for the mover in moving and 30 minutes in replying and a maximum of five minutes each for any other member speaking except the leader of, leader of majority party, the leader of minority party, and the members seconding the motion who shall be limited to a maximum of 10 minutes each and that at least two and a half hours before the vote is taken on the motion, the deputy president or the president as the case may be shall be accorded an opportunity to be heard in accordance with standing order 67B2. That's the right to be heard. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. I, I think uh, let's go to order number 11. And Okay, your point of order, leader of majority. Then we Honorable, go to Honorable Speaker, leader. actually is a point of, of information emanating from something the Honorable Moago has said, that the 291 members who signed the motion had interacted with the motion, and it is true, and the 50, 50 or so who have not signed have not interacted. Just to inform the member for Starehe, that we are indeed, the clerk's office is in the process now of translating the motion in Swahili, so that you may read and understand. The only language you may not be able to translate to is vernacular, but it will be the, both the motion and the questionnaire will be uploaded in Swahili. Therefore, it will be very easy for the member for Starehe now to read and understand the motion. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. What's your point of order, member for Starehe? Uh, it's quite unfortunate that uh, such a senior member in this house would take time to to insinuate that I don't understand English. I understand that we went. I understand that we went to alliance, but of late, your analysis have been has been put uh, putting uh, alliance uh, school into question. Very wanting, by the way, you're conducting yourself. You are a very lanking member to be answering me surely. Thank you. Okay, honorable members, let's move to the next order. But member for Starehe, I think the assurance is that it needed to be translated in Kiswahili because those are two official languages and for the benefit of our constituents who will be reading it. But also, I think most importantly, you'll be able to find the motion at the table office, which means you can get a copy of it as soon as now, and then you can be able to read it. Let's go to the next order, order number 11. What is your point of clarification, member for Dagore?